Hello everyone and welcome to this video on WP Fast FAQs. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make FAQs very easily using this wonderful WP Fast FAQ plugin for WordPress. So let's get started. Right now I'm on the admin page in WordPress and I can see the WP Fast FAQ plugin already installed. If I click on it, a collapsible menu opens up right below it and I can see the dashboard on the right hand side. So right now under add new, I'm creating a new fast FAQ and I can click on publish to create this. Right now it has been created. So this is how easy it is to create this fast FAQ using this plugin. And now we'll be able to see it listed under the fast FAQ section along with other FAQs and also in the dashboard. So let's move on to the next part which is categories and tags. Let's see the categories option and how to create a category for your fast FAQ. By the way, this is very similar to what you would do for your posts, the po categories and the tags for your posts. So I'm going to create a quick category and I can choose to make it a main category or I can make it a subcategory by choosing one of the already existing categories there. In this case, I'm going to make it a main category and I'm going to click on add fast FAQ category. I can see it now listed over here. So now I'm coming back to my fast FAQ and I'm going to assign that newly created category to my fast FAQ. I'll click on this edit option over here and I'll be able to select the newly created category and maybe an even an old one and assign it while I'm here, if I want to make any changes to my fast FAQ, I can do that as well. And I can click on update and all these changes would get reflected for my fast FAQ. Just like categories, tags is also very much similar in terms of creation. And you come back to your FAQ and you would add it over there. So I already have a tag created by JT. And when I type it, I can see it listed over there and I can add it like this. So tags is very much similar to categories. Also notice here that you can see a short code and ID for your particular FAQ. Each FAQ would have its own short code, its own ID, right? This can be helpful when we are posting these FAQs. We may want to make a note of them and that will help us to selectively have only a few or one of these FAQs in our post. So I'm going to go back to this fast FAQs and I'm going to make a note of these two FAQ IDs. So this is one ID for one of the older FAQs and I can actually see there use this ID short code for to add just this FAQ or if I want all the FAQs to be added then I can use this one right. So right now I'm going to show you first how I can selectively add only a few FAQs. So I'm going to make a note of this one and I'm going to go back to the other FAQ and make a note of its ID as well. Both the ones with the name new I would like to have it in my post. So I have noted it down here. And now I'm going to go to post and post my FAQ over there. So I'm going to click on add new. And I can say new FAQs, right? So I have made a note of them. So I can get it from here and I can click on publish. So now that my new FAQs is created. I can actually see it under all posts and I can click on view. I'm going to open it under a new tab and I'll expand this to check my FAQs. It actually has a lot of entries and if I scroll below, I can see the new test as well. So these were the two which we specifically added. Now let's say if I want to have all my FAQs, then I can actually simply, without even having to type any code, I can click on all fast FAQs and 
I can click on publish Go here all of the queues and let me open it up and this time not just the new I can see the FAQ that we created in the start of this demo that is also listed over there right so that's how you can publish or post all your FAQs on your main page coming to the final part the settings option for this fast FAQs let's have a look at there as well so this is where you can go and do some advanced tweaking for your FAQs and you can turn on comment support or include permalink icons choose to show categories tags display all answers and author names date and those kind of options over here and under advanced settings you can also see the animation this is the style in which the FAQ shows up so let's say I'm going to choose bounce and I'm going to try to show to you and while I'm here let me even select these options the, these are the options which you can use to share your FAQs on various social media sites let's say save changes and I'll just go back here and refresh this that's the bounce effect that we had enabled under settings these are the options for sh sharing so you can see Facebook Twitter Google LinkedIn all listed over there the ones which we had ticked off in the options page C comments is enabled as you can see over here so those were the settings that you can enable all right so that was WP fast FAQ plugin and its features and how to use them I hope you liked it and I hope you will use it in your next WordPress site if you have any queries or need any help make sure to get in touch with our support all the information is listed over here